All right, what's up, guys? So I wanted to check out this whole situation going on with uh, So Illuminati and Aiden Ross. So yeah, for those that don't know, they are beefing currently right now, and um, I don't know. Like I, I did talk on this a little bit in my uh, stream, you know, overall giving off my thoughts on the whole idea, and I, you know, I'll, I'll say what I need to say because I will be reacting to the first video, which is this video. And then uh, Aiden's response. And then just, you know, I guess like throughout, like I'll just be saying how I feel on the situation. But it's crazy. You know, like if somebody would have told me that So Illuminati and Aiden Ross would be beefing, like, I, I don't know. Like maybe, maybe it's uh, like a competition thing, you know, with streaming and So thinks like, you know, Aiden is just killing the scene. I don't know. But I'm like, bro, like that. If, if that's the case where it's like, you know, you can't handle the competition, I'm like, bruh, that has literally been content creating since the beginning of content creating times. Like, you're always going to have competition. You're always going to have, like, somebody that you're going to be going up against rather than making enemies. It's like, bruh, like, accept the fact that that person is there, alive, well, be happy about it, move on with it. But it's, it, it's just something that... It, it shouldn't be, you know, a big situation and thing. So, I don't know. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into this video. Make sure if you haven't, go subscribe to Soul Illuminati for more videos like this. But then that being said, Biden Ross must be stopped. Let's get this. Let's get Listen, into this. do we sew in the building? <clears throat> Could he sew in the building? Guys, guys, in the building. Solomonati, give me one more chance. Bro, I got one of them family matters yeah. intros. In the building, man. Simple. It's like show show that uh intro and then have a whole commercial break. Geyser. Geyser. In the building. Is dead silence. All right. <sighs> Did he have to censor his face for that? I'm gonna call you Biden, cause you bisexual. Your time has come. Biden Ross, your time has come. There is no way out of this one. Your time. And I guess like. You know, because Aiden, he did come out and say, like, hey, I'm straight, all that stuff. But, like, even if he wasn't, I'm like, fam, why should it matter? You know, like, I, I don't know, because I know a lot of people have been, like, they were pretty much, like, spoiling the video for me and stuff before I even watched it, saying how, like, Soul was, you know, saying he'd be going above and beyond with his videos or with his streams and all that. And, and I know, like, you know, yeah, also, like, Aiden, he has uh slowed down and stuff, but it's, like, if he comes out and tells those people, like, hey, I'm joking. Like, I don't know. Me, my thing is, like, if I know I'm be joking around with people, I'll tell them beforehand, like, hey, I only be playing, like, when I do these streams and videos and stuff. So don't take, like, anything I say seriously or take anything that I do seriously. But if this is the whole, like, you know, the, the main thing that you're trying to, like, push off in this video that, you know, he's attracted to men. And he came out and said that he's not. But even if he was, like, yeah, like... Uh, bisexual or whatever it's like fam why does it matter it, it's stuff like that where i'm like when people come out and talk about it, i'm like why you know like it, there, there's other things to talk about but anyways time has come but first thing first was good with your chunk Whenever you see this hoodie, I am not a rapper hoodie, murder so in the building. First thing first, this is not a diss video to Biden Ross. And the reason why I call him Biden is clear as day he's bisexual, bi-curious something. He like dick. But let me tell you this. First thing first, 
this is not a diss video to him at all. I'm about to explain something to y'all that y'all probably wasn't aware of. He probably not. He's a bot. One of the things that y'all have to understand, I think this nigga's probably top five streamers of all time. The shit that he's done on Twitch, I don't think people can top that. Especially with the rappers, the numbers he pulled, all that shit. The stuff that really don't matter to me, I'm, I'm acknowledging to y'all. I think he's, dude, you from the 2K community? I'm gonna give credit where credit is due. I'm not one of these one of these niggas that's, that's hating on the content. Like, bitch, what they gonna put your view count on your casket when you die? None of this shit matters. You get what I mean? Let's give credit where credit is due right now for Biden. He's basically, he's been the top three, top five streamers for the past couple years. I don't know how long you've been doing this shit, but I heard you came from the 2K community. That alone, I got respect for you coming from the 2K community. I got a lot of respect from anybody that come from the same community that I come from because y'all know we don't get no love or attention. 2K don't give a fuck about us. Right. I I don't know. I'm the fans. I'm like I'm saying like a lot. Of, you know, y'all got a lot of fans. Like if it wasn't for I had to say like that. That's the main reason why I had got into two K is because of watching like two K YouTubers or streamers and stuff. So like so you guys get some love. To the side. Maybe that's maybe not I'm now, but talk about you as a person. And the reason why I'm dropping this video, dude. I'm sorry. I tapped in. I got me some nature, and they told me to get you about the way. I'm about to acknowledge something that y'all probably knew, but y'all wasn't able to break down. Other YouTubers already know this shit too. They probably not able to explain it or break it down like me. So first thing first. All right, so listen. So Biden, I took my shirt off, not for your bi-curious fan base. Like, bro, control that shit. I'm hot as shit. I got this light on me. This is what I do. This is my natural habitat when I'm in the sun. Guys, sir, guys, sir. In the building. Now, first thing first. Biden, I want to expose your soul. I want to steal your energy. I want to get you up out the way in less than seven, ten minutes because you harmless. You a good guy. Like, you not a friend I would call if I'm in beef with somebody. You you are harmless. You like a gay best friend to bitches. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you're Biden. The first thing I want to acknowledge, and I want to say this right now. I have no problem with the LGBTQ community at all. Man, I help y'all 24-7 on my spiritual channel. I got a whole channel dedicated to helping people and to helping y'all. I don't care about that extra shit that they got going on. I feel like y'all deserve y'all own fucking planet or something. Now, remember, all gay people is not a part of the LGBTQ community. All gays and bisexuals, that's a community. Just like Black Lives Matter. All black niggas is not a part of Black Lives Matter, bro, who's out here telling y'all to get vaccines and go riot and protest and break into stores. Bro, that's a group that's made by these fucking demons. That has nothing to do with us. I want to say this off the rip right now. I have no problem at all with anybody that don't like the same sex as me, etc. I don't care. It don't phase me. It don't bother me. Simple. With that being said, the first thing I want to talk about, about you, Biden, number one, the people around you. If you came out and actually said that you was gay, how many of these niggas that be fucking with you on your streams and all this extra shit would still be there? If you came out and said that you was gay, you know you would grow crazy. You would get so much love and new fans, but all these niggas around you would leave. How do you think they feel? You like a predator. You fake it like you gay. Oh, I want to suck your to get reactions. You making them feel uncomfortable. Shit is not funny. It's not funny, bro. Uh, and I, yeah, people were talking about that too, how he called uh, Aiden a predator. And I'm like, fam, you know, like like I say, he did come out and clear up the whole situation, you know, overall saying that he's not attracted to men. But I'm saying my thing is this, like he's saying that it's not funny. Like overall, that's why he still, you know, or that's why he has friends is because Overall, he's bringing some like sort of like source of entertainment to his content, whether it's a stream or a video or whatever it is. He's bringing some source of entertainment, so that's why I'm like, even if this was crossing my mind, like this, this kind of reminds me of, like back when I was in high school and I went after uh, Ray William Johnson because of his videos, 
it was pointless you know it, it was it was overall pointless it led me nowhere eventually i ended up being like hey you know what there was no reason to even like hate on this because that's at the end of the day that's what he's doing like he he's hating on aiden and stuff and it's you know it's crazy to see it's crazy that i guess like you know just be on the like outside watching it but it's like you know i've, I've been on both ends where it's like i've been a hater and i've been hated on this ain't no different, you know, when somebody comes out in one of these videos and they're like, oh, I'm not hating, but Biden, Russ, like, you this, this, and this, like, you doing this, this, and it, it's hating, bro. Like, I, I don't know how clear it needs to be, but it's hating, bro. So, but anyways. It's not, it's funny to little squeakers and kids who jack off him and, and this shit. These is little children. They're child. But for grown men out here, dude, you are literally emasculating men. You are a perfect plant. You are a perfect seeded plant to destroy men. You got all these niggas with their fingers wrapped around. Bro, listen. These hoes got their fingers wrapped around y'all. Y'all wrapped around these hoes' fingers. They got y'all on the leash. I was just talking about, I just dropped a fucking video about why is all these weird ass Twitch niggas doing all these e-dates, but I don't see no, I don't see none of the hoes doing e-dates for us. We got all these niggas in the group trying to get with a bitch that's known for sucking dick. But I don't see no none of these girls coming in the group trying to get with a nigga. Why is these niggas on Twitch are like, bro, listen. If you around Aiden long enough, nine times out of ten, you're going to become bi-curious. You're going to start saying shit that you didn't normally say. You're going to start being acceptable for shit that you was never acceptable for ever. If you're a viewer and you're watching this right now, how many people you seen on Twitch used to watch them all the time, but now they like, be saying gay shit and stuff they like so i haven't followed if you know me i follow a lot of small streamers but i i haven't followed no streamers i my mind hasn't changed like i feel like who i was prior before being a fan of aiden ross i'm the same person i like women <laughs> like it, it's it's stuff like this that's what i'm saying like so and this is what I was overall saying in my stream and I was like I was gonna wait until the Aiden Ross video but no I'm like I'm just gonna say this and I'm not you know it, it's gonna come off like I'm hating so I guess like I can't say that I'm hating but I'm not saying like you know I'm gonna be going across his like channel disliking his videos and you know but I'm just gonna I guess like how overall feel you know with this whole like so illuminati making this video because it was random right it was like there was no reason for it It wasn't like they had like no confrontation none of that you know or he like i guess i don't know maybe he's mad that he didn't call him to be in one of his streams but i think soul is falling off because and i was talking about this in my stream and i'm like maybe he is maybe he's not but i honestly think that um so illuminati is falling off you know, like, you have all the, and this is what I was overall saying at the beginning of the video. It's like, you got this competition where there's literally everybody around you. So it's like, what are you going to do? How how are you going to make yourself a threat to the competition? You're going to go for the biggest and baddest person in that community, Aiden Ross. He is literally the biggest streamer. Everybody knows him. Everybody might not follow him, but they know of him. They most likely have seen a stream clip, something of his. Whether it's been on TikTok, YouTube, uh, Twitch, like they they've seen him somewhere, cause he's a popular person. I was like, my thing is, is like last time I remember watching the Soul Illuminati video, I think was when he cut like all his hair off and stuff, and then I think when he was like, he's gonna be this like spiritual person from now on. And I, you know, I was just like, all right, cool, I guess. But that was it. That was like the last, I'm like, versus Aiden. Aiden has like banger video after banger video after banger video. So I'm like, this is what people want. And I don't know, like maybe so he just can't contact those people. Because I'm like, what, it all really started when uh, Ninja had, did the whole thing with Drake. There might have been some uh, other videos and stuff prior before that. But it all started with that. Aiden is just going with it, and that's why he's getting, you know, all these top rappers, YouTubers, just overall top people in all communities a part of his stream, because that's where the money is at, that's what's making, and I guess so, it's like, hey, you know, he, he's jealous, he doesn't want to say he's jealous, but I honestly think there is there is some sort of, like, jealousy there, I'm saying, like, you know, he ain't broke, but I'm saying he's getting to that point where it's like his channel is slowing down, he's getting desperate, so... I feel like, in my in my own personal opinion, I feel like this is a desperate move. Different now. You get what I mean? How many people you know? Be honest, nigga. 
How many people you know on Twitch who just be like vulnerable and victim to this gay, to this nigga shit? Biden, you like a predator, bro. I'm dead ass, bro. Like I'm, I'm, I'm trying to tell you what you are because you faking it so you can get away with this shit. But these people out here getting bullied, killed for being really gay. You trolling them. You get what I mean? And I'm just talking about the people around you right now. If you've been around him long enough, nine times out of ten, you acceptable for shit that you're not acceptable for in reality. You just think, oh, he's faking it. What I'm trying to tell y'all is this. Let me chill for a minute. If you somebody that hang around Aiden and you are a man, right? I want you to look me in my eyes and tell me this. You hang around him, right? If your son came around you and around the house while you was chilling with your girl or your bros, and your son said, hey, dad, I'm about to go suck some the shit that he be saying. You will beat his little ass, won't you? It's not okay, is it? If your son came around you and you was just chilling by yourself or with your bros, with your girl, and he said the shit that he be saying, he's on punishment, ain't he? So... I guess, you know, to, uh, overall, like, all right, so, I'll admit, I, I probably would be, like, where did they even, you know, come from, and stuff, like, what do you mean, like, by that, that's just weird, because I'm, like, my thing is this, I know I wouldn't go around, like, even if it was talking on, like, you know, doing something, you know, with a woman, and things, like, I ain't gonna just come out and just say that in front of my parents, like, because I just feel like that there's a line of respect that you have, you know, for your parents and things, so you don't go out and say no crazy things like that, so that's why, you know, like, if he get, like, if, you know, when my son gets older, uh, not that I have kids, but I'm just saying, like, if I did have kids, they get older, they become a content creator, they're doing stuff like this, and I'm like, you know, I would, like, overall, like, yeah, I talk with them, because I'm like, of course, I'm gonna be, you know, like, curious, and like, especially, yeah, it's like, I, seeing my kids become a content creator, of course, I'm gonna be, like, watching their videos and streams and all that stuff, and seeing what they're overall doing, and if, you know, yeah, they do, like, go out, and they start saying some crazy stuff, doing some things, I'm like, you just doing this for, you know, the, you know, like, for entertainment purposes, they say, yeah, I'm like, all right, you know, I've seen other, because it, it's no different than somebody doing a movie, and, you know, they're acting a certain way and stuff, or, uh, whether TV shows, whatever it is, it's like, it's no different, it's just, you know, he figure out a way of, like, okay, just be in the comfort of my own home, and be able to, you know, entertain people, so that's how I'm viewing it, but it's like, yeah, honestly, you know, ain't nobody gonna just go out, whether it's talking about a man or a woman, and you're a man or a woman, it's like, regardless of whatever it is, you ain't gonna go out and say no disrespectful stuff like that in front of your parents, it's just, you just have that respect for them and stuff, but anyways... It's all it's all type of red flags, ain't it? So why the fuck is it okay? And I don't even and it, it like did uh Aiden never I don't know because I really don't be watching all of like Aiden's videos like that, and so maybe he did come out and say that he did that in front of his parents. I'm like, if he did, I'm like that is some wild stuff. But it's not like we're agreeing with that. It's not like we're going out and we're doing that ourselves. We're watching it. If a kid does that, kid does that. That is on that kid. That is on that person. But it's like me as a viewer, me as a watcher, I'm not thinking about everybody else when I'm watching the Aiden Ross video. I'm thinking for myself. If I watch this video, I'm not going to, I have that choice on whether or not I'm like, hey, should I go out and do this stuff or should I just been doing what I've been doing and stuff? I'm just going to continue doing what I've been doing. I'm not going to go out and say no disrespectful or do no disrespectful things. So, like I and like he was saying, it's like Aiden's a cool, like he's a nice dude. He's a cool guy. It's like, you know, overall, I'm pretty sure, yeah, you know, he's chilled out. He's calmed down. He ain't doing it. Like, yeah, I think a lot of people have been saying, like, he ain't doing this wild stuff no more. So this video was like way out of just like left field. It, it just, it was random. It made no sense. But anyways, let's, let's go ahead and finish off the video. For you to fake like you fuck with this nigga and be around him because he bringing you all this. <clears throat> Music attention. Remember, he collabed with so many music artists. So he's the perfect nigga to collab with to get attention for your streams. These industry niggas is no different than OnlyFans stocks that want attention and likes for they, they OnlyFans. I'm trying to tell y'all this. Dude, this motherfucker right here, if you hang around him and your son came around you saying the shit that he be saying, would it be okay? No. So why the fuck is it okay when he say it to you? 
<laughs> because Aiden's not my son. He's doing it for, you know, to overall, yeah, make money and crap on Twitch, YouTube, wherever he's posting on. I'm like, he ain't going around saying that in front of his parents and things. I'm like, yeah, you got, my thing is this, what would you like to, I guess, like, you know, put like top that in things? What would you rather, because I'm like, there's far more worse stories than that. You know, like nobody, that, I feel like that's a story that nobody really doesn't know about is the kid that, uh, that, um, went and was, so he, like, he wanted to play Halo 3, this is like an old, old story, but he wanted to play Halo 3, his dad wouldn't allow him to, because I believe his dad was a pastor, so he was just like, no, like, games like that is not welcome into this house, he ended up getting Halo 3 somehow, some way, uh, his dad found out, took the game away from him, instead of, like, then that's, I think the son got so mad and upset about it, uh, went in his dad's safe, got his gun, told his mom and dad, like, hey, I got a present for you guys, close your eyes, they cl- closed their eyes, because they're all, like, ooh, let's see what our son got us, mom's dead, dad uh, ended up, yeah, going to the hospital, and I'm like, if it came down to it, what lifestyle I want, the lifestyle that he's talking about, or the, you know, that lifestyle of that Halo 3 kid, I'd rather have the lifestyle that souls like portraying and stuff. Cause I'm like, it's not my thing is this. It's disrespectful, like of course, as you know, but I'm like, if my kid feels comfortable to say some stuff like that around me, I'm like, I'm like, then that kid's just, you know, he just living living a comfortable lifestyle. It's like I can't, you know, I ain't gonna tell the kids stop being comfortable and stuff. I'm like, you know, it's just overall, it's like, you know, I'll tell them, it's like, hey, you know, doing stuff, saying certain things to people, and it's like there ain't even no need for it. It's like people going to take it as disrespect. So I'm just saying, it's like, you know, with people you may know, like that might, may or may not be cool with them. But it's like, that's why you test the waters. You don't just go out and just say some disrespectful things or do no disrespectful things. Now, I feel like most kids are kind of like show like their parents and stuff. Like if they know that they're interested in the same things, they'll show their parents like, uh, you know, Aiden Ross's videos and stuff, and they've, I'm laughing about it, and they carry and they don't think it's funny, I'm like, I, I'll talk with them, it's called communication, communication is key, and that's what helps people, if you ain't communicating, then yeah, honestly, there's gonna be spots where things happen, and you know, yeah, overall, it's like, now nah, I just feel like that's like when all the, you know, just disagreements, arguing, fighting, all that other crap, so, but anyways. Oh, you all acceptable for it now, bro, these bitches don't want, bro, listen, I don't, ain't no nigga gonna call him if he in a fight. They're not gonna call this man because he's like a woman. You're not gonna call him if you got beef. You're not gonna call him if you, you, what are you, you gonna only call him if it's on getting on Twitch. That's it. Or it's something that has to do with live streaming. He's useless. Like my nigga, Biden, let this shit sink in. You are emasculizing a whole youth of young niggas, bro. They look up to you. And you're trying to teach them to be hoes. You got these niggas out here talking to us like our thoughts be talking to us. Nigga, only a bitch supposed to tell me what she want to do to me. You get what I mean? I know you're doing it for attention. I know you be getting the views. I know it, 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 it's taking your soul. You know, you, you. This, and you know, this does kind of remind me like when I had, uh, when I started doing reaction videos back in like 2015. And the amount of people that was like getting on me for doing reaction videos and stuff like it, it look like my reaction videos, Aiden Ross's style of videos is just a wave of content that's marking its territory, marking its place. And we just my thing is this like and that it ain't no different than any other video or any other genre out there and stuff like if that's what that person is interested in, that's what they're interested in. I'm not going to tell a person, and that's why I see videos like this pointless. That's why it's like when people, when they made videos like this about me, I was like, I seen them as pointless because I'm like, okay, well, people are still going to watch Aiden's videos even after watching this video, and then they see the response going back and forth, and I'm like, to me, it's stuff like this is like, you know, it's bad for a person's career when you're going back and forth with people for whatever reason, and so I'm like, like I said, this is a competition thing. It's like, bro, let it go. Like you, my thing is, is I, and here's the thing I've been in the content creating for like 12 years. Like, so I've seen like, you know, when content creators, you know, more so speaking on YouTubers, but I've seen where they've reached like that point where they just snap, like they just start doing some off the wall stuff. For an example, the super hot fire guy, um, at one point in time on top of the world, 
He he was dropping those super hot fire videos. Had some of the dopest collabs. I think he even had like Timothy. Uh, well, he goes by a different name now, but at the time, Timothy D. La Ghetto. He had like you know Soldier Boy in the videos. Chris Rock, I think at one point, like the videos was on top of the world. And then randomly one day, and I still remember this, but he just randomly deleted all his videos. There's always that point in time where a content creator, they reach to a point in time where they just like flip out, go crazy, go stupid. And they either, yeah, delete videos, change up who they are, change their name, do something drastic, you know, to get people's attention and stuff. And I honestly feel like this is what Soul's doing right now. He's just going through that time frame where he's just doing all this random off the wall stuff. And people are looking like, where, where is this coming from? Where, where are you like, why, why, why are you doing this <laughs> to yourself and to your fans? Like your fans, my thing is this, you, yes, overall, you should do whatever content you feel comfortable doing. But at the same time, like you got to do it to entertain your fans, like stuff like this, it's just only going to like pin fans against fans and, you know, pin people against people overall. Like it, it, it's not, it's not needed and stuff. So anyways, you, you, you swimming in the clout. You feel me? You brought it. Listen. But why you doing that? How many how many young niggas you think you turn into hoes? How many young niggas you think is now vicarious? They like boys. They be saying all type of feminine stuff. They think it's normal because of you. But when it's time for them to get a girl, how a fuck a girl gonna be submissive to a fucking feminine guy? Y'all wonder why these hoes so masculine now. They want men. Like, bro, I told you. Most of these girls just want your money. They using toys. They ain't even using real dicks. They don't want to fuck with you niggas. They want your money. These is the type of hoes they put on pedestals for us to worship. The last thing I'm going to say about you, Biden, and then I'm out. I'm gonna never talk, I will never talk about you again. From this point forward, please stop preying on men. You are a predator, bro. You are a fucking... Dude, you, you, I ain't gonna call you a pedophile for men. You, you something. Stop praying on men. Stop doing sus moments. Saying, like, dude, these rappers come on there. Don't you know why you blew up? It's because all these men, all these little kids want to see you say some key shit and see the rapper's reaction. I'm not taking away from what you do, but what you known for, bro, is the reactions, the gay shit, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm just being honest. Ask anybody. Ask your bros. That's temporary around you. Anyway, that's all I gotta say about Biden. You get what I mean? You, 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 you your role is is clear as day. Simple. Use a bot so you don't really realize it. But I see it. Look at your comments. People want the old you back. They want the sus aiding. They don't want you to be regular, bro. You get what I mean? Nine times out of ten, your girl don't respect you as a man, bro. I hope you know this. Nine times out of ten, your girl got balls. <clears throat> She's the nigga in a relationship. Because you too, you 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 not masculine at all. Anyway, I just wanted to break him down in a different point of view. I still think he's top five streamers of all time. I don't think nobody fuck with him when it comes to his content and what they be doing on Twitch. But him as a person, you destroying people, bro. Your time has come. Fight it. Anyway, take care of yourself, man. Make sure you like, share, subscribe if you're new. And I'm out, bruh. Yeah. I, um, you know, it, it, it's it's one of those things where, hey, like I said, he, he's reached to a point in time where, yeah, content creating, it's, uh, it's getting hard. It, it, it's, uh, it's getting hard to compete with people and stuff. And he felt like this is how to go about it. And. Okay, my mic. I thought my mic, for some reason, it wasn't showing the mic. And I was like, bro, tell me this microphone was not recording. Oh, I was about to go off, bro. I really was. Because I'm like, you sit here for 30 minutes and this microphone was not working the whole time. Nah, bro. I was all like, nah, I'm calling up OBS. I'm like, I, I need to beef with somebody. <laughs> but anyways, um, nah, but what was I saying before I got distracted? Um, 
Yeah, I just, you know, I think that, so, you know, he, he just needs to take some time to himself, take a break, because I feel like when you don't take breaks, it just, it, it doesn't go good for you, so I, I do think that, you know, he just needs to take some time to himself, chill and things, but I don't know, I, I, how I, what I overall said in this video, that's just how I feel, but yeah, make sure y'all go subscribe to Soluminati, like, subscribe to me too, talk to you guys later, thank you guys for watching, and peace.